Hey everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and today, as you can see, you see my legs. We are doing a 24 by 24 inch canvas. Um, just to let you know what color paints, this is my mismixed um, Glidden Diamond paint. It's like a light tea color. Light aqua, bright aqua green by Liquitex Basics. Raw Umber by Liquitex Basics. Brilliant Blue by Artist Loft. Old Copper Penny, which is Glidden House Paint. And Vermilion, which is Artist Loft. So, the next part where I'm mixing the paint up is going to be, oh, and I'm using my, over here to the side, I've already mixed with Liquitex Pouring Medium because I needed to thicken it. I have black diamond copper pigment. So we'll see how this works. Three oranges, two blues, brown, and the tea color. So I have to thin it because obviously it's not thinned and I'll speed this part up.
Okay, I have more off-white paint. This is what I'm gonna pour in, which is two quarts. So there's two quarts of paint that are gonna go in here. We have plenty of paint. I still need to add water to this. Should be enough water. I'm gonna stir it in. This is Glidden House paint. I did a video on Valspar, which should be either in the iCard or it's going to be released at a later date. I'm not sure which at this point. And yes, I'm out of breath because, y'all, this is a lot of paint to stir. And I need to go, when I next go to Home Depot or Lowe's, or as Home Depot as my granddad says, I need to make sure I get some of the bitty paint sticks because it's not easy to stir. I am gonna add GAC 800 to all of them. So, not a lot, just a little bit considering what I'm, the amount of paint I'm using. And these are some of my favorite colors. I do have another bottle of this. I'm not so worried about the house paint. And over here, you can see my copper, really pretty copper pigment. I ordered more pigment. They're just not here yet. So I'm even going to put some of that in the copper pigment. Just a little bit. So we're almost ready. Then I'm going to fill my mason jar. I think I'm just about ready to put some gloves on. A tad of water. I had this all set up to do this big canvas. I think we have plenty of paint to do a big canvas. This is really runny paint. I'm thinning down each one of these colors now. I don't know if they've thickened because it took so long to stir everything. Okay, here's my teal. I'm going to have to do two pours. FYI, you're always supposed to reserve some just in case. Okay, teal. Set that to the side. More off-white paint. 
just a little bit more off-white paint in here oh my gosh this is going to be a 20 we're going to do i don't know what i was thinking y'all i don't know what i was thinking copper pigment I generally don't have much luck with the metallics, so that's selling up real nice. Can you see the, that orange? Those are cells. And more of this. That's beautiful. Beauteous, beauteous, beauteous. Can you hear that brown pouring in? Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I have not used all my paint. I still have brown paint. I definitely still have orange paint. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange paint, more water to the orange paint. Why am I adding water? I'm hoping it's easier for it to float on top of the other colors. Look at that. Here we go. We're setting this aside. This is going to be for a 24 by 36 canvas almost two quarts of paint. This is going on the 24 by 36. I still have plenty of paint left. I know this is taking forever. Guys, I'm so sorry. I've never done a canvas this large. This is all new to me. Look at the prettiness on my stir stick, which I don't need in there anymore. is going to make a mess. I already know. Clearing stuff out of the way. I'm not wearing anything I'm concerned about ruining, okay? Nothing I'm wearing I'm concerned about ruining. All right. How am I supposed to get that upside down now? Well, set this over here and I am going to raise this and hopefully you can see oh lord can you see there's already cells it's not clear because I have autofocus off okay here we go lord help me I say that because I've had such a stressful day my stepmom is in the hospital I have a feeling this is going to go everywhere y'all oh it's a miracle. Okay. Cup is upside down. I have two canvases down there. And this is going to the side for later. Here we go. I'm not letting it rest too much. What my objective is going to be is to pour it and cover the whole thing. If it doesn't cover the whole thing, I have my other pour I can add, and I also have solid colors. So here we go. Fingers crossed. I can't believe this, but here we go. Plenty of cells right away. I'm not waiting. I'm, I'm going to... Oh yeah, that was definitely plenty of, plenty of paint. Oh my God, y'all, y'all, I don't know how to tell you this. 
decorating a canvas that large is one of the most exhilarating things you can do. That was so awesome. It was so awesome. Like I'm shaking. Awesome. That was amazing. Oh no, I got stuff over here not covered. Better take care of that. There's not a lot on the floor. This is not the prettiest color that it all mushed into, but that's okay. If it's framed, you won't be able to tell. What do you guys think of that? I mean, wow. That was exhilarating. Like, do you know how stressed, I mean, I cannot stress to you how, how, how amazing it was. I almost want it to run more that way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that's okay. It's not moving very much. I have so many cells. It is amazing. Like, you can't even imagine how gorgeous it is. It is absolutely breathtaking. Like, I'm in tears. I was so concerned, y'all. I was so concerned. I've never done one this big. This is 24 by 24. I absolutely love this painting and I hope you guys do too. This is a, the perfect example of how to get cells with paint and water only. Please remember if you like this video to give me a thumbs up, hit like, make sure you subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching guys. Lots of love. Bye.